Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to just be doing a little haul for you guys of what I got when I was in Sydney. So literally five minutes ago, like not even five minutes, <laughs> I just got back home from Sydney. Um, I spent, I went there down on Friday and out Sunday. So I'd shown on my Instagram page that I bought a couple journals and um, I'll be showing you guys those and also just um, some other things from Daiso that I got when I was there as well. And lastly, a tea that I bought, which, I mean, isn't really journal related, but I mean, it's tea and tea is my favourite thing ever. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to dive in. So, um, I actually want to get this one out of the way as, actually, as soon as I can, because I'm like scared as all hell for it. So, I went to Typo, which was in uh, a shopping mall that I went to, and... It got wet this morning. My drink bottle had leaked in the back of the car and I'm actually terrified that the, that the journals are like kind of wet. So this is like the reveal to see if they actually survived the bag and I think they did. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> I was so scared. Um, so the total for these was $24.98 and that got me a A5... Um, so the total was $24.98 and that got me an A5 soft cover buffalo journal. And I'd been on the Typer website like a few times and I've always seen these buffalo journals but I just never bought one just because I thought it was a bit too expensive plus shipping. So I was finally able to get my hand on one of these. And before I'd even like really really thought about it I just kind of saw it and was like oh yes I need one of those. Um, it's really hard to open like. I'm going to have to bend the spine a lot when I write, so like just, this is like how far it opens, just like pushing it, and then when you get to the middle, it's kind of like, you have to like really press down, and that kind of like makes this bit all whitey, so it's kind of gone all that already, like paler, so um, i just got to be careful when I'm using this. So I also got this visual art diary, which was for $9.90, and it's a sketchbook, pretty much, um, that I can probably use for maybe some drawings or maybe just even use it for full-on journal stuff. Um, so it's got 120 pages and has 100 GSM sketch paper. And the paper feels pretty nice um, for a visual art diary. It's like your normal paper, really. And it's a spiral. And I rarely use spirals. I've only used one... Uh, I think once, which was a typo journal, which was like A5. Um, yeah, the rest have been just like normal spines like this. Uh, so, those were the two journals that I got. I was going to buy a few others, but then I was like, mm, yeah, nah, just keep it on a minimum. Because <laughs> um, I have, let's just say this now, I have a lot of journals that I need to use. <laughs> Even my mum said, oh, haven't you got so many already I'm like yeah but I just can't help it. The whole reason why I went to Sydney was to go to the UTS open day which was absolutely fantastic I loved it. Really 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 wishing to go there um, when I graduate and just take a year off then hopefully get accepted. Um, oh this was um, I'll explain this later. <laughs> Uh, let's just like find the stuff that I got because I've literally just like dumped a heap of stuff in here. Um, oh, this is this is um what I use to take notes, and this is a type of one. This is a spiral A5 that I was talking about, but it's um of course different, and I used it to um take notes during the sessions, and I might as well show those. Um, this is a um I forgot what it was. Um, students had published this. Like these are all student works, and it was just on the stands around the place. And they were like pretty cool. I don't know if I'm meant to show inside, but um, yeah. And I really, really like the cover of it. And I don't know who illustrated it, but um, it was one of the students from the um university. Um, this was oh okay, so <laughs> this got wet. <laughs> uh, lovely, yay. Um, oh, jeez. Now, oh, this was a... Oh. Wait, okay. This was the program for the day. And some guy came up to me and said, Hey, would you like to 
go to our socialism conference. And I'm like, um, what? <laughs> and he just got me into this conversation about Trump, and I was like, okay. Not really interested in that kind of stuff. Like, no, thank you. Anyway, that's... I'm not really into a... I'm not really a political person, really. <laughs> um, yeah, that was in this, and... My whole area was, like, the design and architecture building, because that's, um... Ah, fashion design. <laughs> guess... <laughs> I was about to say, guess what ATAR I need? It's 93. So for all my Australian people, uh, actually New South Wales people, you would understand what an ATAR is. Um, Queensland, it's called a... I don't know. I forgot what it's called in Queensland. But 93 is the ATAR I need to get into this course. Ain't happening. But there's other pathways that I can do, which I talked to the lady about, and she was like, yeah, you can do that and that. This, and you can apply for that, and do that. And I was like, okay cool, hit me up with that, because I need to, because I won't get an ATAR of 93. Let's just say the highest ATAR you can get is 99.95, and I need 93. I'm talking about ATARs now, I'm just gonna stop. Uh, I think that's all the stuff that's in this bag, apart from the food. I got lollies, which I'll use for something that I, well, I won't use the lollies, I'll use the jar for something. Um, anyway, yeah, it's just cookies and stuff. Anyway, let's just get to the stuff that I actually bought and start rambling on. Um, so I went to Daiso, and to be honest, this haul is pretty, like, small, really. I got some hangers because I love the clip things, and I have these jackets and, uh, jeans? Or, no, jeans go, jeans go on my drawers, and I'm looking at the jeans on this. Um, I have a few jackets that I need to, like, actually hang up with the, um, clamp thing because they're just, like, heavy-ish for a normal coat hanger. So, I bought these. Oh, and everything was $2.80, so awesome. I bought an embroidery hoop, embroidery hoop, because <laughs> I wanted to get into embroidery again. Um, I used, I used embroidery, oh my gosh, I can't talk, embroidery as a technique for my HSC quilt. Um, yeah, and I don't know, I can show a photo of it. Yay, I can! I will show a photo of my quilt because um, the last hand up day for the whole entire state was the 20th and I can show a photo of it now. Good, I'll do that at the end of the video, hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> and I bought some nylon painting brushes and some double sided tape. And the last thing I'll show you guys is the tea I bought. Um, and that was this is from T2 which I actually heard of before, I just forgot where but I've heard of it definitely. And what I bought was a green tea which was a loose fl loose leaf flavored green tea and was 50% off and the reason why it's just because it was close to the expiry date which was uh, in December this year um, but I'll probably <laughs> end up having it all before then really so the tea I bought was this loose leaf flavored green tea I can't pronounce this and I'm not going to even attempt and it's by tea too and I'd heard of this brand before I just forgotten where and it just comes in a little box like this. And the packet's in there. And this can fit about... Oh, ah, can fit. <laughs> it can have about 40 cups of tea. And I love tea. <laughs> I really love my teas. Uh, so bright green tea and aromatic quince. Quin? Quin? I'm going to say quince flavours. <laughs> With pretty blue cornflower petals, an exotic treat for the senses. And there was another one as well, but I didn't get it because it was $22, even though it was half price. So I was like, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> so that's this one. And that is pretty much everything that I bought in um, Sydney when I went there. So I'm going through editing the video, and of course I forgot to mention the things that I was going to mention, <laughs> um, that I said that I would. Um, different time of day and different day overall, actually. It's like, um, mid, uh, so it's like the 20-something of September now, so it's been close to a month I've um, filmed it. But anyway, um, this video will be uploaded on the same day that I'm talking right now. Anyway, so um, the notes in here, I went to four sessions at UTS. And um, there's a number here, so I just covered that with a little tag. So the first one was like secrets to HSC success, and it just said um, pretty much just tips on what to do during HSC exams. Um, 
So, like, planning your um, responses, all that stuff. Um, plan of attack, have a, oh yeah, have a plan. Um, reading time, writing time, multiple choice, short answer questions. So session two was about how to bounce back from the trials, and I went really bad in my trial exam, so this pretty with this one was pretty important, really. Um, so this strategies on where you're weak at and how to um, use your feedback to improve for your actual exam. Um, modern history was my worst one, so I kind of concentrated on the modern things that he was talking about. Um, there was a traffic light system that he talked about, so he put all your all the things that you stuffed up in the red container, then put the things that you're confident in the yellow and the green, um, that you know what is, you completely know this, and you want to transfer all the red, yellow into the green. So hopefully I'm like I'm trying to do that, but it isn't going too well. Um, so there was this thing called UTS insert, which is what I might end up doing if I don't get the 93 ATAR I need. Um, but the fees for that is pretty bad, and yeah, so, woohoo, got to be interesting. But my other, the other pathway I can do is just to apply as a non-school leaver, so, yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm probably, like, blabbing on so much. Like, to the people who aren't from New South Wales, Australia, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, so I'm just trying to get through this, like, really quickly. Um, and this one was the actual design and architecture building session. So this one went through, um... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. This was about InSearch. This was an actual InSearch um, uh, session that talked about the plans and all the stuff for the program. This one was... This is the one that I needed. So the Bachelor of Design in Fashion and Textiles. So this just went through what the guy was talking about. And I just took some notes about that. And that was pretty much it. Anyway, so... Went through that quickly. So this one here, I'm actually terrified of showing. I don't know if I actually will show it. Um, I'm not terrified of it. I'm just terrified of your reactions. <laughs> so, um, at the design, well, in the design and architecture building, they were holding these live animation se sessions. So they chose random people from the audience and they did ink drawings. Well, it was either a drawing that could be any medium you wanted. So it could have been ink, um, graphite, so like a sketch of pencil stuff, <laughs> and watercolours. And I chose ink. And the guy that did it, he actually did a pretty good job. And of course it wasn't like spot on and all that stuff because it's like, you know, like, it's got character. <laughs> like, honestly. it was It's actually really, really good. And my mum was like really impressed. There's only two people who I am, um, who know what I look like, like, you guys, your viewers know what I, like, there's only two of you. One of them, they definitely still watch my videos, and the other one, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, it's been a while since he, um, uh, said something about my video, so I don't know, um, if he still does, but I know definitely one of you guys still do. Anyway, <laughs> um, I was like, I, oh, I don't know, I mean... It's so good though, but no. Oh god, I. Okay, wait. Oh, I don't know. Wait, this is this is like. Uh, that's my hair, and that's my neck. There, there you go. That's <laughs> that's all you're getting, <laughs> because I'm just. Oh, I don't know. Um. Anyway, the other thing was that I was going to show a picture of my finished quilt that I made, and. It has been a while since I actually filmed the, um, all the other stuff in the video, like, early stuff in the video, of course. Um, I was just going to show a picture, but the actual quilt came back. It came back from marking. And it's in the box. And I will not unfold it, but I'll show you my, fol uh, my folio that I need with it. So, well, I had to submit with it. So, um, anyway, but... I'm just gonna like, ugh, okay. That's my student number, let's just cover that. That's the quilt. It's this. It's ugh, pretty. Ugh. It's pretty big. It will fit a double or well, single size bed actually. It was it looks like it was about to fit for a double bed, but when we cut it up and all that stuff, trimmed the edges and all that, it was actually for a single bed. So that's the quilt. 
that I've been rambling on for the past year about you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the design I did for the quilt. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It's all rendered on the computer, so it's all crisp and clean, all that stuff, apart from like all this stuff because this is hard. <sighs> um, the most frustrating thing about this whole thing was my fault. My pages kept deleting on my computer, and I had to back up every single time I edited it. So anyway, <laughs> small cold takeaway cups. This is the last thing that I got from my old work. <laughs> the, I got this box the day I left. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna steal one of your boxes, guys. Thank you. Um. Yeah, so I definitely will take the quilt out like in the future, but um, I will probably end up doing an actual like full video talking about it maybe if you guys are interested. I don't know. Just because it's textiles and textiles is like one of my most favorite things ever, I probably will end up doing like a, a video about it. So the next video I'm about to do is my Q&A. And by the time this video comes up, it's going to be too late to answer questions. I'm so sorry, because I'm just going through all the questions now and answering them. So, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, like my Instagram page, follow it, all that jazz. Um, my Instagram will be linked in the description. And I will see you all later. Bye!